Me what? and James are kind of culture appropriating right now. Really? He's oh, yeah, he's a taco. I'm a taco. <laughs> yeah, y'all doing a lot of Hispanic shit on this thing. You got Spanish on the bullet? Yeah, Spanish on the bullet. It's just yeah. a coincidence, man. Is, it, is this rolling? We've been rolling your whole life, bro. Everything's been recorded. Look at you. You're not, you guys have heard of Dr. House. This is Dr. His House. Hell yeah, bro. <laughs> That's my name, dog. We fucking, we shoot niggas, then we fucking stitch them up. <laughs> shoot them and fix them. You're Dr. Corey in the house. <sighs> Where'd you find the gun? Because I know you didn't buy it at the store. You bought that at the Halloween store? Yeah, I got a sword too. <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah. I got some claws. Uh huh. I got all types of things. So you really just couldn't resist? Like, that was in the self, that was in the checkout. Yeah, aisle. like right like, when you leave leaving out. Like, you know I'm like, what? I need this gun. <laughs> you need a little cap gun. <laughs> this is beautiful. It is nice. Bow, bow, bow. <laughs> put, it, put your hands up. Whoa. Put them up. <laughs> Everybody free. Bow, bow. <laughs> <laughs> you know, a doctor walking into your room and just being like, I hate to do this, but and then he kills himself. <laughs> That's how sick you are that I have to kill myself. Hell yeah, right. I Gotta really don't it. want to tell you the news. <laughs> <laughs> I hate to do this, so bang. Yeah, <laughs> yeah bro. Uh, that's the world we live in. Doctor kill doctors uh, kill themselves now. They do. My aunt, uh, she got she had cancer, and then her doctor told her that she was about to die, and then he died two weeks later from cancer. Mm. And then she was so she was super mad. She was like, "Why wouldn't he tell me that he was also dying?" So, Every yeah. time you point a finger, there's three fingers pointing back at you. Yep, see that? Think about that. Mm -hmm. Next time you try to diagnose something. What? Every time you point a finger, you got three pointing back at you. Yeah. <laughs> wow. See that, bro? Yeah. Your mom never told you that. My mom used to always say that. To me. Never heard that. That's good really? though. Yeah. Wow. All the fingers pointing at you, brother. You really got it coming to you now? Uh-oh. That means you're three times as not funny as me. Yeah. <laughs> Never I'm like, Ben, you are not funny. <laughs> you got three. <laughs> it really be your own fingers. That's yeah. crazy. Yeah, hey, yep. That really be the only thing helping me get sleep at night. Yeah. What would you feel like if you got a I can't catch COVID right now. Oh, yeah? I got a mask on. <laughs> See that? I thought it was the Cuban link. <laughs> oh, yeah. This, this protects you from everything. <laughs> you love the doctor costume. I do. What, what's it doing for you? Uh, I feel accomplished, I, honestly. I feel like I've done things in my life. Because you do look unnecessarily proud. Yeah, I feel. <laughs> yeah, I feel very proud. I feel like. I feel like. I feel like. I had a lot of discipline and made it through like twelve years of school. Yeah, I feel great, bro. If someone collapsed, would you like volunteer? Oh, I'm, I'm jumping in. <laughs> I'm gonna stick a fucking knife in their neck and open up their air passages, bro. I like that the thing on your. There's not even a snake around the cane. Mm -hmm. it's, just, oh, it's, it's like a baseball bat with barbed wire on it it's oh yeah it one. is that's hot damn <laughs> damn emergency room personnel that's me I'm gonna start dressing like this when I go on an airplane so oh hell yeah when there's an emergency I'm just not doing shit right you're sitting there like what you want me to do is anyone here a doctor be like these just my clothes uh, yeah I'm not on the clock right now uh -uh. Well, and I can say whatever I want cause I might this might not be Naeem Ali this could just be a bull y'all know what my face look like under this I can say anything right now. <laughs> Go for it. <laughs> really let it fly. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> no one will know. That's the magic of how I can, we can do Listen, bro. I'll, I'll move my lips while you say something. Yeah. And it'll hey, look hey, like I. Who, who am I? You see what I'm saying? You know who I am. Maybe Hitler was right. <laughs> About athletics. I'm starting to see a lot of fast white people. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of fast white people, bro. A lot of dancing ass white people. When, yeah. When Tyson Fury got knocked out, Hitler was wrong. Oh, he was completely wrong. Not even close, buddy. Oh, oh yeah. nowhere near close. There goes the only white heavyweight champion in history. Yep. <laughs> That's crazy. Beat by not even a boxer. Yeah. That's nuts. It is crazy. I was so upset about that. Mm hmm. They got to fight again. It's going to happen, too. And I think it's only going to be worse. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, bro. I like that type of shit, though. Watch the watch the black man beat the white man. Well, it sucks for a to, change. to get like beat up after like the commentators knew that Fury was supposed to win. Yeah, so they were like willing to talk shit about the way it's funny mm -hmm. the way he looks. Like Ngannou is bad at f boxing, mm -hmm. and Fury looks like a bag of milk. <laughs> he kept calling him a bag of milk. A bag of milk is nuts. <laughs> it's crazy. He is spilling over. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> he's spilling all over his trunks. He expired yeah. last night. Hell yeah, bro. <laughs> He looked like he melting. Yeah. Just a sad display. Very sad. Mm -hmm. Hey, here, hey, yo, actually, we don't do sad displays of art. We do the finest facts. 
<laughs> the, the finest, most rarest factual information that you could, could ever hear. Learn something. Learn something for a change. Stop being an idiot. You out here watching all these podcasts, all these dickheads talking about who they fucking, relationships, how many bitches they like to get, who paying half the bills, <laughs> all this bullshit. Don't watch that. Watch, learn something. Sit your kids down. Right? Go get your kids right now and be like, yo. Sit here and watch this. I think one episode of this podcast is more valuable than a college education. It is. It really it, is. It honestly is. Yeah. It counts for some credits. This is how yeah. you become street smart. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. You get all the smarts here. This counts as a degree in like Ecuador and countries like that. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Just one episode. That's all you need. Just watch Naeem call things gay. <laughs> and then you get to be a judge. Yeah. You learn life. That's how you learn life. That's their bar exam. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's the law. That's the law, bro. And to my left. I have the great Ben Saab. Hey, guys. It's me. Getting here, live in the flesh. And to my right, I've got number one AO actually hater in the world. <laughs> 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 Couldn't detest the show anymore. Uh -huh. But we got him held against his will for the fucking podcast. James underscore Moss, everybody. <sighs> we got him. Um, I had to dress up and pretend to be his doctor just so he would come here. This was, His doctor wear gold chains and shit like that because he's from Alabama. So Ooh. he got... James got ghetto ass people as doctors. Can you diagnose me with something? Oh yeah, you got scoliosis of the fucking brain, bro. <laughs> <laughs> your, fucking, your shit crooked, dog. <laughs> very, very crooked boy. Just you know a brain that does. <laughs> <laughs> My brain looks like a lowercase r. <laughs> uh, that sucks. Uh, <laughs> thank you for giving it to me straight, doc. I mm -hmm. appreciate it. Yeah. It's no problem. We, we can we can fix that. You know. Mm. You think James is the creepiest Philly comic? No, no way. <laughs> the creepiest? <laughs> creepiest? Not even no, close. No, what? I'm respectful boy James. <laughs> like Joe Murdoch is still alive. <laughs> okay, true. Okay, oh, yeah, there's a lot of creeps. <laughs> yeah, what? A lot of creeps are weird. Felix is still <laughs> walking around somewhere doing a fake accent. You know what I'm saying? He's still... <laughs> I mean, Pete's cool, but he's creepy. Pete is creepy. <laughs> he's extra creepy that with can, the hose, bro. If you look away for two seconds, he'll yeah. fuck you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You gotta watch out. Pete's fucked Drew like three times. I can believe it. I can believe it. Drew's pissed about it. Yeah. He really doesn't like when people do that to him. So yeah. every, every time I take a phone call, I turn around and Pete's fucking me. <laughs> yo, Drew did a joke at Haley the other night. And he, yo, he, great set. He burned it. Yeah. But one of the jokes, <laughs> was it was like about a threesome. And the crowd thought that he was talking about him and his his male friend fucking each other. <laughs> and it, it was an all black crowd. They they was completely off board. Like, whoa, oh, whoa. Oh. To get a collective. Like, what? <laughs> yeah, they were like, yo, hey, yo. Yo, that ain't the one, G. Yeah, that ain't the one, G. <laughs> bro, that ain't any joke, for real. <laughs> yo, yeah, bro, they want not feel any. Mm. Gotta mm. watch out, can't be gay. All right, he'll get him next time. Mm -hmm. Let's find our first fact of the. Let's do it. Are we doing creepy. fan facts first? You want to? Should we do a Halloween? Let's fact? Let's do a Halloween fact first. This is you got a good Halloween it's, fact. It's a Halloween show, right? Um, I think I got one. Go down some more. Uh, do I go down some more? It is a Halloween show. Everyone's watching. Wait, on go Halloween. up. Uh, go up. Okay, yeah, I like this one. It's not really a Halloween fact, but it's kind of scary. Okay, creepy. Um. Hey, yo, actually, it's widely believed that your hearing is the last sense you lose when you die. Studies show that patients may still be able to to hear when, like, they're unresponsive. Oops. So you could be, like, everything, you could be, like, dead, technically, and still hear what people saying. That sucks. That, that stinks. Suck. Like, people, you hear people saying, like, oh, no, we fucking lost them. You're like, what? <laughs> <laughs> like, no. It's like, bro, I'm in here. Yeah, I'm here, bro. Damn. What you mean you lost them? No, keep trying. I, I'm here. I guess it's good that it's hearing. It would be really shitty if like taste was the last one you lost. <laughs> You're like, no, oh, let me lick my mama. <laughs> <laughs> let me lick my mama. <laughs> let me lick my mama one more time. Come on. Yeah. Yo, give me a free dose. <laughs> Damn, that would suck also to hear your family just not give a fuck when the thing beeps. Yeah, yo. They're like, all right, what are we doing after this? You're like, yeah. What the fuck? Y'all were just crying a second ago. Right. Yo, give me his shoes. <laughs> Are you trying to go to Fridays? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> like, damn. What are we going to do? Sit more all night, bro? I'm hungry. <laughs> or you hear like your brother storming to the room. And you're like, about goddamn top. I always hated this motherfucker. No, and you're like, fuck. <laughs> yeah. like, you couldn't wait. You couldn't wait till later to say that? Yeah. It's crazy, bro. Yeah, that would be brutal. I mean, 
being pissed off when you die would suck. Yes, there's nothing you can do about it. Just being on some hater shit yeah. <laughs> as you walk towards the light. <laughs> yeah, fuck everybody back there, bro. Yeah, yeah. Fuck the other end of this tunnel. <laughs> you, you just yelling at the light. God, if you let them motherfuckers in, I don't want to go. <laughs> if they come in, I don't want to go. I ain't going to heaven with Brian. No chance. Uh-uh, no way else. That motherfucker here, uh-uh. Damn. Yeah, bro, but here, the last thing to go, dog. Is the tunnel real? I think everybody, like, reports the tunnel. But wouldn't that just be, like, your brain, like, tripping out, you think? It could be. Yeah. I don't know if there's actually... How do we know that hearing is the last thing you hear? Or the last thing that happens? Yeah, true. Maybe they do those, um... There's no, well, there's no way to do a hearing test while somebody's dying. Like, yo, raise your left hand if you hear a beat. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's, like, not like you could respond or anything. Yeah, how would they know? That's literally how they test it, is, like, as people are dying... Mm -hmm. They just get like really close to him and they're like, You're gay. Yeah. And if they do like a <laughs> <laughs> That's how you know. <laughs> yeah, yo. That's that's probably a good way to test them. Yeah. All right. mm -hmm. Well, we got our first scary fact of the of that's, the that's a scary fact. That was not reading the rest of my facts. I'm bro. sorry, bro. Damn, bro, <laughs> you're <laughs> always doing that. Here's shit. the thing, I don't have any facts, so I was just gonna try to jump <laughs> the gun at you. <laughs> you got yours? Oh, are these mine? Ooh, okay. Hey, well, actually, there's been only 200. <laughs> <laughs> what are you laughing at, bro? You're a hater. Honestly, God, hater. No, you're doing great. Uh, this is, uh, I'm pretty bad at my own show. All right. <laughs> <laughs> hey, well, actually, there's a, the, did you, hey, well, actually, did you know that there's been 200 confirmed cases of candy tampering in the United States since 1958? Damn, that's it? Only 200? But everybody says that there's been zero cases of razor blades. Everybody's like, that's bullshit. That's never happened. But it has happened. And it ha started in 1958. Some There was like a doctor that put, um, 450 laxative laced candies to children. What? Oh, that, now that's just a prank. Laxatives are funny. Yeah, that's just a prank. That's it is a trick. That, yeah. But that's also a weird thing to do. That is. That's a weird thing to just sit around and, you know what I mean? And just try to, and just laugh because you made everybody take huge shit. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, that's so childish. He just said that whole like, <laughs> everybody's pooping. Right there. Yeah, you never see the reward. <laughs> yeah, you never see it. You might smell it if you walk down the wrong <laughs> yeah. block, bro. You might smell that shit. Yeah, you do get to just like sit and like take pleasure in the fact that there's like 450 <laughs> Spider Man suits that are getting shit in right, right now. <laughs> yeah. There's a bunch of kids holding this stuff like, ah, oh, 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 that's fucked up. <laughs> Damn, that is a good one. And then the other one, uh, oh, yeah, this one is fucked up. 1964, someone put like um, bags of arsenic. Uh, laced ant traps, what like metal scrubbing pads, dog biscuits. <laughs> yeah, they got dog biscuits. Is funny as fuck though. What? That's a good one. That's a classic. Halloween I mean, break. but they was handing out things that you could use. Arsenic laced ant traps. Yeah, that's like poison. Poison. But they was ant traps, so they probably was still inside of whatever packaging they were in. They probably weren't just loose ant traps. They probably were inside of some type of container. Mm -hmm. There's nothing wrong. Listen. On Halloween, you should give adults these things. Give adults uh, ant traps, <laughs> scrubbing pads, and doggy biscuits. I need some doggy biscuits. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah I, 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 need, I need ant pads. traps, bro. Yeah, you see what I'm saying? Metal mug <laughs> scrubbing pads is crazy. They said it like this person was trying to kill somebody. Yeah, it's just like one step beyond like giving out like toothbrushes or whatever. Exactly. Yeah. This it's person was walking around their house just grabbing household items. Like, you know what? I want to celebrate Halloween, but I don't have anything. I don't have any candy. Yeah. So you know what? Uh, I guess they can have my scrubbing pad. This person just was walking around the house picking things up because he just wanted to celebrate Halloween. Yeah. Um, did you? Did your moms ever warn you about um, that you have to check under your car because like there was like some guy that like hit under cars and sliced people's Achilles heel? Fuck no, yeah. I never heard of that. Yeah. <laughs> he came feared. Your mom told you that? Yeah. <laughs> Why? You know, I supposed that to check out the car. Right? <laughs> There's no way anybody ever did that. There was like an epidemic. It was happening to everybody. For no, it's not. That happened all the time. It happened yeah, to a friend of mine. No a ton way. Of, yeah, that was actually the leading cause of death in '98. Those dudes under your car that would get your fucking slashing your fucking Achilles. <laughs> you know how fucking accurate you got to be with a knife. You know how hard it is to generate power laying on your belly <laughs> with a knife and just going like this, bro. But that's your. I mean, that's your Achilles heel. You know what I mean? Yeah, but... <laughs> That's yeah. your fucking number one weakness. First of all... And when, they're right there at the heel distance. But when you're walking to the car, your feet will be facing them. It's not like you It's not like you got your Achilles right in their fucking face. Yeah. When they reaching around. Yeah, you gotta reach around. <laughs> oh, that would suck so bad to be the guy under the car and you miss. Oh, and damn. then you just have to be like, oh, shit. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> be cool, be cool, be cool. Yeah, just try to wiggle back. 
<laughs> you scraping your belly up on the ground and shit. Yeah, bro, I, I wasn't even crazy. stabbing you like that. I was checking your oil, blood. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> bro, I was checking that oil, blood. <laughs> uh, uh, but yeah, yeah, can we have yeah. um I wanted to have a moment of silence for all the victims of having their Achilles heels having sliced. Having their Achilles sliced. <laughs> yeah. Damn, bro. <laughs> You're laughing, bro. This is karma's gonna come back to fucking bite yeah, your heel. <laughs> that never ever happened to anybody. I guarantee it. Yeah. I guarantee nobody had their Achilles slash all the time. Yeah, a bunch of your mom's friends that happened to. <laughs> That's why she told you. Yeah, this is yeah. serious. That's nuts. You really gotta watch out. Check under your car, yo. <laughs> <laughs> That's nuts to tell somebody to check under their car. I thought you were gonna say because like like cats get under there in the winter when it's anything cold. but that. I <laughs> thought you was gonna say anything but that. <laughs> I wasn't expecting fucking. Bro. I thought you were gonna say because it's a pipe bomb under there. That's more likely than a motherfucker slashing your fucking Achilles. <laughs> 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 the, fuck, <laughs> the fuck is going on? That's what I was worried about for a while. There. I, I always check. <laughs> like I, I'm way more worried about a bomb under the car. Achilles went and crossed my mind. Yeah. You still look? Huh? Nah, I mean, sometimes. <laughs> I just get that on the ground. <laughs> and then they just fucking stab you in the face. Like, yes. Uh. <laughs> you want to peek under this car, bitch? Yeah, uh. If you check, you're more susceptible yes. to a stab. <laughs> that is true. They just fucking just stab, stab you, you right in the eyeball. <laughs> right. <laughs> and they're like, yes, I was hoping you bent down and checked under your car. <laughs> <laughs> like, what the fuck? Uh, you'd have to wait forever, too, under there. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> All day. Yeah, and then what if the person just moves so quick and they just got in and pulled off? <laughs> and they just get ran you over. Just, yeah, you might get ran over. Anything <laughs> could go wrong. That's such a dumb way to try to hurt somebody. <laughs> you know, you think you're okay. He's like holding a scythe. You're like, yeah, what the fuck? Yeah, like, yo. Oh, dude, it would be so. You're like waiting for the person to come out. You're under the car, and then PPA comes up and gives them a ticket while you're yeah, waiting. Yo. It's like fucking retard. <laughs> <laughs> God damn. <laughs> it looks That's like it. his day just went from bad to worse. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm going to stab him. And I'm going to stab this motherfucker. <laughs> uh, <laughs> it's a real thing, man. You got to look out for it. Damn. No, that's very serious. Mm -hmm. My mom used to tell me to uh, check my door. If, if it was somebody left tissue in there, don't touch the, the door handle. Tissue in where? Oh. On, and like what was that door. for? It was I forget. It was some drug that she said could like... Make you pass out if you touch it or some shit. I think I heard about Might that too. Fentanyl. Mm. Some shit. It's like you touch it with your hand and you just Yeah, yo. Yeah. Like it get into your pores and make you pass out. And then they then they steal you and they sex traffic you. <laughs> That's what my mom told me. Also a classic Halloween prank, you put dog shit under the I heard about people doing that. Yeah, that's disgusting. I don't believe in it, though. I don't think that's fucked up. Like that. that's, that's too true. that's too much. You mean like the burning bag or No, I think you put it like in the where you pull the handle. I respect the burning bag. But don't make me touch fucking shit with my hand on my door handle, and I don't know anything about it. Do you respect the burning bag? I respect the burning bag. If it bag. happened to you, would you step on it? Like, because uh, I feel like you honestly have to step on it. I think I would go get water. I'm a big, I'm a big go get a bucket of water guy. Give it some time. Whenever there's fires, I go get the water, bro. I go get the water. We love that about you. Yeah, <laughs> that's, 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 yeah, that's what I'm known for. That's what they know me for. Yeah, that's why I keep doing my circle. Uh huh. Yeah. There was a fire, and I ain't always go get buckets of water. <laughs> I'm gonna call you. There's a fire in my apartment. Yep. Yo, but, bring over yep. some water. James uh -huh. is useless during a fire. <laughs> but there's a fire, he's just stop dropping and rolling, bro. Just <laughs> yeah. No help to anybody. He, he has no help. That's not helping anybody. He's just rolling about. on the ground. All right, fuck you rolling for. We'll get some goddamn water, bro. Now he's got any resources. Yep. <laughs> just dumping buckets, dog. I'm spitting on it, pissing on it. I'm just using all the liquids. Pissing on a fire is nice. <laughs> yeah, it's yeah. a good feeling, but it smells terrible. It's such a bad. Y'all yeah. really haven't pissed on fires. You know, I just realized about you. I've never, <laughs> never pissed on a fire. What you guys look at me like, what <laughs> are you talking about? It's a terrible, I mean, but it's nice. It really is euphoric. I love peeing on things. Yeah. <laughs> Why'd you piss on a fire? What were you doing? Putting out a fire. What the fuck else would I be doing? <laughs> Was like a like, was a, like a campfire. Everybody went outside. I'm pissing on the fire. Oh, uh, I'm no, like, I, you guys could all leave before me. I got this. I did this a couple months ago. Yeah, it was the best feeling in the world. It smelled great. <laughs> really, my piss smells kind of good. <laughs> <laughs> What's your diagnosis from that? <laughs> if your piss smells good, yeah, that means you got a little fruit in your pants, bro. You need to get you need to go get checked out. Okay. Yep. I'll take that. Yeah. I think that means you're good. You, no, I got that. <laughs> got a little fruit in your pants. If you, if you need any help, understanding. No, thank you. Mm -hmm. I speak Naim CTE. There you go. <laughs> all right, James, what's your fact? Oh, I do a fact. Okay. Um. All right, cool. Oh, I do a fact, bro. You know where you are? Yeah, like, come on, bro. Bro, I'm here. You're going to love this. All right, AO, actually, it is illegal in the USA 
to sell a home suspected of being haunted without letting the buyer know. Ooh. Oh, okay. That's a good fact. That is a good fact. And that's a good Halloween fact. I that's like a great that. Halloween fact. Yeah. You think her? Home run. Yeah. Well, side of effect. I was laughing thinking about the, uh, like the tour with the realtor. Mm-hmm. She's like, it's a nice, nice unit, two bedroom, one bath, granite countertops. Uh, quadruple homicide in the bedroom. <laughs> <laughs> At night, yeah. you will hear the screams. Yeah, yeah. But see, that's crazy. You have to tell them. That yeah. stinks. When do you bring that up? That's At the, the p- main thing I want to hide. We've just referred us to haunted piano. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> just got him a new set of teeth that'll like bite you. I would downplay it so much, like. I mean, if you believe in ghosts, I guess you could say it's like haunted, but no, we're, legally, we're, we're adults. Legally, so. you have to say it is haunted. That's a fact. <laughs> you will be molested by ghosts in this house. <laughs> Damn. You will not find a night of sleep. Mm-hmm. But, but, life hack, fucking just hit him with a lawsuit. Prove that there's ghosts somehow. You know what I mean? Ooh. Oh. Hire like, your body to stay in the closet and go like, whoo. Mm-hmm. You know? That's insurance fraud for ghosts is you kill someone <laughs> in a house you just bought. Yeah. It's like, y'all didn't tell me this fucking the place was hot. <laughs> 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 it's just crazy. I'm getting chased by ghouls every night. <laughs> no one alerted me. <laughs> That's beautiful. That's such a funny thing to go to court for. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? Y'all didn't tell me there's ghosts in this yeah. house. <laughs> it's like a judge being like, we need proof that the property was spooky. <laughs> <laughs> The ghosts keep eating all my cheese. They eating all my cheese. They keep turning my fucking water on. Water bills through the roof. <laughs> I'm not paying any of it. I'm not paying any of this shit. My heat, I don't even turn my heat on. Heat's on 80 every time I come in. Why? Gas bill. Too high now. You just blame everything on the ghost. Do you ever have a ghost experience in your life? Uh, oh, hell yeah. I think I talked about it before. One time a ghost kicked me in my back. Oh, yeah. I got <laughs> and I it. I fell out my bed. Yeah, hey, bro. I'm sorry. Yeah, you're Boom, right. right. What was this? Back. Um, I'm probably was uh, maybe seven, <laughs> eight years old, maybe. I was a child. Did you just sleep in a bed? Yeah, yeah. And then he feel like and then inspector. I, it, it wasn't even really like a kick. It was like he put his foot on my back and shoved me out the bed. Interesting. That was your first professional bout. You took an L. Took a hard L, bro. TKO'd hit the floor, hit the floor it. hard. Then I ran in my mom's room like, Mom, yeah, a goose kicked me out the bed. <laughs> 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 And she didn't believe me. That sucks. She's like, no, it didn't. You just had a bad dream. I'm like, no. No, no, no. I wasn't asleep at all yet. I was still awake. Uh-huh. This motherfucker kicked me in my back. We believe you. Mm-hmm. You ever had a ghost experience? Huh? <laughs> no, dude. No? No? No, I'm good as shit at reading. I'm smart as hell. <laughs> really? <Yeah. laughs> no, no, ghost real, bro. No, never, uh, never. Dude, I did have one time when I was a kid. I remember... There was a there was a poster in my brother's room of the uh, you remember the like the war propaganda poster where it was like I want you and it was Uncle Sam. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. I, I have a distinct memory of that poster as a kid being like it was like this and then it went ah mm-hmm. <laughs> what yeah and then I tried to explain that to my parents and they were like you're the dumbest for-. that never yeah. You ever yeah, been trapped yeah, in a yeah. painting? I remember when I was eight, I was trapped. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I was trapped in a painting for like two, three years, bro. I was just in the back of a farm, like trying to wait for yeah. my family. Everyone's talking about like, where's bed? I see my family mourning. It was terrible. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I like that you guys are making fun of ghostly experiences. That's nice. <laughs> what the fuck is up with you? <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes. Second through fourth grade, I remember I was in a painting. <laughs> That was when, like, we really started to, like, talk to girls. Everyone was, like, talking to girls, and, like, getting sweet on them. I mean, you could, like, kiss girls. I was in a painting. <laughs> That's crazy. Yeah. That was watercolor. <laughs> I was a damn Monet. Shit was hard for me as a kid, man. All the other kids, flesh and blood. Me. <laughs> Acrylic oil. <laughs> But yeah, I don't know, I had sleep paralysis one time. I feel like that was a ghost. You know what I mean? Nah, I got that. Bro. I felt my body be entered. I've had that a bunch in my life. Yeah. Uh, you gay. You felt your body be entered. <laughs> what the fuck? The fuck type of thing? Bro, you get your back blown out by ghosts. <laughs> <laughs> Tell your mom nah, about nah. it. You were on the damn nah, spectral yeah. bang bus, dude. <laughs> Nah, Covered yeah. in ectoplasm, <laughs> <laughs> tripping out of every mouth, every hole. It was uh, crazy. It was interracial. It was uh, <laughs> black and clear, <laughs> black and translucent. Nah, dog. <laughs> my, my baby's opaque. <laughs> you, you over here stealing, stealing Viler, talking about some. I had a ghost experience. I had sleep paralysis. That's not anywhere near that. I I'm only describing the sleep paralysis to fit fucking 
y'all's experience of the world. You know what I mean? Hey, I feel like if it was you want to be down, you wish you had. You wish a ghost was interested in you. What? They don't, they don't want to haunt you, Ben. Ghosts love me. No, they don't. That's why they don't interact with you. They interact with me. I heard a ghost call my name before. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Motherfucker said my name three times. He said Amy. Amy. That's what my family called me, Amy. Amy. He my was like Amy. Mo. <laughs> <laughs> he was yeah, close bro. friends though. Mm hmm. Oh, actually, this was a fact I was looking up. Um, I wasn't going to use it, but I heard that um, while I was doing that, looking up the Halloween facts. Yes. Um, I guess it's like common up until like age seven for children to hear voices, like 15 to like 20% really? of children. Really? Yeah. Damn, so I probably was just hearing voices, what you're saying? Mm hmm. But what do you think that is, though? I don't know. Like, you think that's just it their brains, like, not working well, or it's, they like, actually, like... Nah, their brains probably work better than ours. You think it's so? It's a new brain. It is weird. No it, damage. It has to be one or the other. It's, like, that's either the kid's brain developing, or mm -hmm. kids love talking to, or, like, ghosts. Yeah. Or kids or kids could just be liars and saying that they're hearing things, but they not they aren't hearing anything. Good point. Kids are liars, bro. Yeah. They tell obvious lies. But you still believe that you got kicked? Like, if your son came to you and you were, like, and he said I got kicked by he a ghost, kicked. you'd be, like... I wouldn't believe it. Yeah. Even though I experienced it, I still be like, you're a fucking lying. Wow. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You got to show me, bro. That's how the ghosts win. That this is, is what they it, want. Yep. You're they right. want infighting. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Your son has a footprint on his on <laughs> Yeah, his I got to see it. Uh -huh. <laughs> I need to see a footprint <laughs> tramp stamp. <laughs> <laughs> I got to see it, dog. Otherwise, you're bullshitting. Sorry but, to put my I, boat on you. But if, if a ghost can kick you in the back, that means they can kill you. It's a nice boat. That is a nice boat. You like my boat? Mm -hmm. It's actually my dad's boat. Your dad made it? But he lets me use it sometimes. <laughs> nice. <laughs> good good stuff. Great one. It's Great one, good. Benjamin. That's uh, that's how I get bitches at the Halloween parties. Uh -huh. I heard they didn't like it. No, they hate that joke. The hosts <laughs> are not the hosts a fan don't like of that, that joke. One. No. They don't like my costume either. My costumes really struck out this year. I mean, and they struck out last year. You didn't try. You don't try hard enough. Really? You honestly don't. Look at Look, look at James. Look at this. Look at this guy. This is the definition. That's try somebody hard. that's trying. <laughs> yes, he's trying hard. But well, then look at you. You got on any jacket that you would wear any other day. No. Nah. You don't even have a hood. I have fake blood on me right now. What does that have to do with? What is it? What, it's not. I could on. be spookier at any given moment. If if I show up and people are like, I don't really like the vibe. You know what I mean? Yeah. I cover myself in blood. You should have. You should have had. A you should have blood on your costume. I should. Yo. Gotcha. Damn. True. But I got a gun. <laughs> so you know what? End of argument. We prepare for life. All right. Let's hit our next fact. I got one. Uh, we got fan fact. And um, this is, by the way, so this comes from Corey Matei. This guy's the best fact provider we've ever had. He sent me a whole Google document. Nice. Really? Multiple, multiple facts categorized. Ooh. They all uh, say AO actually b beforehand. What? There's like six categories. Yo, it's finally. a beautiful thing. Shout finally. out to Corey. Shout out to Corey. Shout yo, out Corey. Corey's Corey. the fucking man. You Let's are go. the man, yo. On, so much better than every other fan we've no you know what my bad no don't say that we won't pin him against each other he better than us he got more facts than we got and they're organized it's crazy <laughs> um let's start with the first one We're, i'm gonna start with the category new jersey sucks mm. oh that's good agreed that's a good one we like Corey. Corey, what's his last name no never mind mate all right Corey so mate. Corey says ao actually it's illegal to buy a car on sunday in new jersey according to new jersey law it's disorderly it's disorderly person's offense to engage in business of buying, selling, or exchanging motor vehicles or open a place of business and attempt to engage in such conduct on a Sunday. A first offense can result in a fine of $100 or a 10-day jail sentence or both. What, yo? That's so fucking stupid. For the Lord. You can't buy a car on a... That's, it's supposed to be separation of church and fucking state. I respect it. No cars, no Chick Fil A sandwiches on Sunday. That's bullshit. Both things. And that's bullshit. like bullshit. You know, like when, you, when it's Sunday and you're like, "Damn, I want to buy a car right now." <laughs> yeah, always get that craving. Sometimes you want to buy a car on a Sunday. What bro? is the point of that though? That's just retards trying to get into heaven. That's that's all that is. <laughs> <laughs> that's all that is. <laughs> For fucking real, idiot. There's no point. Also, why can't you buy a chicken sandwich on a Sunday? Like that's not that even that makes like, no fucking sense. They're doing it for Christian reasons. So it like, doesn't say. But when the fuck the did God say you can't have a chicken sandwich on a Sunday? Yeah. When the fuck did that become a thing? Be Jewish or don't be Jewish. It's right. Weird. Like God had never said anything about cars. Nothing. He didn't even know cars exist. Well, I don't know what you could say. He didn't know cars exist. But in the in the official lore, yeah, he didn't bring it up once. Suspicious. True. Yeah. That would be fun if like in Peter or dinosaurs. Yeah, Peter Book Three, they're like, 
no Toyotas on Sunday. Don't mm-hmm. even think about it. Mm-hmm. Bible does talk about dinosaurs. We're at. Um, I don't know which verse, but they they talk about. Look, can, you, can we can we can we prove this? <laughs> idiot wrong? <laughs> no, I swear to God, it talks about creatures with like um, legs the size of tree trunks. Um, That's me, first of all. Yeah, <laughs> fucking, I forget. Sharp teeth. beasts with like giant belly. They describe dinosaurs. <laughs> Sharp teeth, <laughs> Boom. reptiles. Look at this, Job. Thank you for the example. Is it's one of the bad the things that happened to Job. Job, even. Uh, oh, okay, all right, all right. it's another thing in Job they didn't bring up <laughs> is that he was mauled by a dinosaur. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Let me see the verse. Ain't no verse. I remember in um, Bible school when I was in fourth grade in Western Pennsylvania, they came and taught us about this. No. Dinosaurs are not mentioned in the Bible. Yeah, I mean, there are monsters mentioned. Oh, Satan, like works the for behemoth Korah. and the Leviathan of Job. However, the idea that these are dinosaurs is a very modern idea based on wild speculation. Idiot, stop. True. <laughs> you do. <dare> you. <laughs> You're being wildly speculative with that statement. <laughs> it's not wildly. Look up the verse. I swear to God, read do, the verse and yeah, try not to the think verse. of a dinosaur. We do facts on this show. Quid. Yeah, this yeah. is a fact. Humans lived at the same time as dinosaurs. Stop God trying to bring it. <laughs> <laughs> Humans lived at the same time as dinosaurs, huh? Yeah. Oh, okay. Is dinosaur like, time before or after Jesus' time? Um. <laughs> no, I think Jesus was the end of dinosaurs, probably. You think it was the back end? I think, yeah. <laughs> you no, know nothing about like, um, any of these things. No. Nah. That would be cool to see him on the cross while the Jurassic Park theme is playing. <laughs> the T-Rex just fucking eat him. <laughs> Hell yeah. Here, All right, let me see. The Bible is good. Uh, look at the behemoth, which I made along with you and which feeds on grass like an ox. It sounds like a cow to me. <laughs> <laughs> what strength he has in his loins. What power in the Pause. muscles of his belly. His tail sways like a cedar. Think about that. And the sinews of his thighs are close knit. Just like a bronchiosaurus. No. His bones are tubes of bronze. <laughs> his limbs like rods of iron. He ranks first among the works of God. Yeah, yeah about, sounds like the black man to me, bro. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds like a description of LeBron James. It sounds like the black man. Job 40, verse 15. <laughs> And against the Celtics, he put up a <laughs> triple double <laughs> with twelve <laughs> rebounds and a buzzer beater. <laughs> His thighs are close knit. What does that even mean? I don't know. Not that was like a dinosaur, huh? It doesn't sound like a damn cow either. You, you seen a cow and said its tubes, his, its bones look like tubes of bronze. I mean, I never seen a goddamn dinosaur bones that look like a tube of bronze. I don't know, man. Someone told me it was about a dinosaur. That ain't no goddamn dinosaur. A bronze cow is a thing in the Bible. Like they described, it is. Yeah, Bron- and they feed on they feed on grass. <laughs> you gotta put that down. Like, <laughs> yo, chill. <laughs> <laughs> That's how you know you got a good point. You gotta just let that bitch sing, bro. You know what I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Honestly, um, public speaking um, tips is people are more likely to believe you if you're holding a gun. That one hundred percent. You command more attention to the room. You, did you see that video of that guy where they killed himself in front of everybody? And it, and blood was just gushing out of everywhere. Oh, Bud Dwyer? And yeah, yeah and, Dwyer. He took, and he took it out of the envelope. Yeah. Then everyone paid attention. Yeah, yeah. His speech was a total snooze fest. People yeah, that. nobody yeah. gave a fuck about what he was saying. Who the fuck knows what he's talking envelope. about? I remember he fumbled the envelope for a second. Yeah. He was trying he to did. pull it out, and he was like, ah. Uh-huh. And then pulled he the damn. that bitch out. That'd be me, bro. I choke under pressure. Yeah. Also, the gun was like funny long. It was, it, 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 was, it was like a Joker gun. Yeah, <laughs> it was like everybody, it's okay. Everybody, bow, and it just was like blood, just waterfall of blood. Did you see that shit, bro? Yeah, it's never that serious, guys. Yeah, you don't ever have to fucking yourself. You see what I'm saying? Don't do that. Don't don't ever don't ever <laughs> yourself, bro. That's fucked up. Don't ever fuck up. Don't do that to yourself, bro. Why would you want to do that? That's fucked up to do. Somebody gonna have to find your stinking ass like that. Don't do that. Yeah, don't ever give yourself the bang flag. <laughs> <laughs> Too much. Yeah, yo. Or if you are gonna yourself, do it in your chest so you can study your brain. See if you had CTE. Mm. Cause then if so, if you had CTE and you fucking yourself, then it's explainable. That means you know you couldn't help it. You think Bud Dwyer had CTE? He might have CTE, bro. You never know, though. Maybe. He might have got hit What the was the thing with Bud Dwyer? He just was, like, caught in some, like, Yeah, he's about to go to thing. prison. But he didn't do it. I think it was, like, found out after he killed himself he didn't do it. Damn. Yeah. Well, that's fucked up for him, bro. Honestly, a tragic case. He should have never killed this, though. He, maybe he got exonerated. Free my mans. 
<laughs> from hell, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> 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 I mean, that like <laughs> like courtroom or whatever is like definitely haunted. Oh, hell yeah. Where do like speakers give a, an, an address? Right. Seemed like he was like addressing the press. Damn. Just blood all over the place, bro. Yeah. That's crazy. Sucks to suck. Sucks to die, man. Yeah. And the last thing he heard was he was saying, he's fucking nuts. He <laughs> killed this up. That's what he was hearing when he was dying. Yeah, only look hearing. Guy. Damn. Bitches was like, oh, look at all the blood. He's uglier. <laughs> <laughs> Do you think shooting yourself in the head is a turn off? Oh, that's a major turn off. Yeah, but yeah, be, they don't like when you bitches don't like when you shoot yourself in the head, bro. That gives them the ick. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> shooting yourself in the head is major ick. <laughs> yeah, bro. They yeah. definitely yeah. don't think you're cool if you fucking. Am I using that right? I don't know. But hanging yourself makes you like an inch taller. Now, so. yeah, you, ooh, oh, true. If you got to do it, <laughs> if you have to kill yourself, yo, I feel like now that I paid attention to him. Uh-huh. <laughs> He's kind of cute. If you got to do it, jump <laughs> off a bridge. This face is nice. I'll be at purple. Jump off a bridge. Yeah. One of my homies tried to kill himself by. Just, damn, I'm sorry for telling your business, bro. But it was years. <laughs> it was years ago. I'm gonna be honest. I am. I'm dumbfounded by you tonight. <laughs> 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 you just got me perplexed. Dude. Uh, wow. I've never seen you with this energy. But it's, it's nice, right. man. It's alright. One of my homies tried to uh, kill put it himself. down. <laughs> you see me, bro. You see me cocking it. I can't help it, bro. I'm stressed, and I know it's fake. Uh huh. One of my home, yo, never let me hold a real gun. This is how I treat real guns. <laughs> like though, I be in it. I just be in the crib sometimes. Like, <laughs> Sorry, what? What to do? What, what to the do? What am I doing today, bro? Fucking damn it, bro! What are we gonna do later? You know what, <laughs> what is for dinner? <laughs> my, my girl be like, yo, stop! Why are you always do playing with your gun and like I that? I just spinning the revolver like this shit's really on shuffle. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, hell yeah. Uh, my girl be like, stop. Why are you always just playing with your gun like that? I'd be like, shut up. Idiot. I can do what I want. <laughs> so your friend tried to. Oh, yeah. He tried to kill. He jumped off a bridge and he just was like, he just fucked. He just like broke every bone in his body. And he was stuck under there for two days until somebody found him. Under the bridge? Mm-hmm. But did he have a newfound lease on life? Yeah. He said like halfway down, you know, he said the same thing everybody says. Like, yeah, halfway down. I was thinking like, what, what the fuck am I doing? And it was because his girl cheated on him. It's so and shitty dumped them. to like um, have a suicide attempt and like no one cares about your story. You're like, this yeah. is like the most pivotal moment in my life. And yeah, like, eh, that's what everybody says. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. If you were gonna jump off a bridge, would you put on a bathing suit first? <laughs> yeah, I'd have, my, uh, I'd have my duck foot, my duck thing, my floaties. Uh, he jumped, he jumped off a bridge that had ground underneath, not even water. Ooh. Oh. Hey. Yeah, like he landed on like the ground. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> that's fucked up I remember I, when I was like little I'd be like how do you how do you even I remember like visually trying to m- imagine like how you could die because I in my head like bridges were like over rivers like over like oh yeah yeah like you know what I'm talking about like so a you trail thought you bridge could just, you, I was like how do you even die doing that so you thought that you could just jump into any body of water from any distance <laughs> yeah. I used to think that as a kid too <laughs> I'm like what like, yo, you fall in water you could fall from any you could jump out of an airplane if you right. land in the water you're gonna be fine yeah I used to think that I think it is true depending on what the water's doing it's about the surface tension. So if the water's doing like a this thing, okay, I think you're fine. I think you still smack into it like it's fucking concrete, bro. Yeah. If, you, if you throw a rock in right before you die, or right before you hit the oh, water. Oh, yeah, to kind of open it up some. I think that, that makes it soft as feathers. Yeah. Or if you go in there like feet first like this, or you go straight down like this and make yourself like into like a straight line. What would you say on your way down? Geronimo. Cowabunga. Uh-huh. Yeah, you got to say some cool shit. Fucking gnarly, dude. Help. <laughs> <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> you would be like, fuck, 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 fuck. I didn't mean to do this. <laughs> uh, I got myself into a real pickle here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, golly me. All right. Let's do our... Now you got a spooky fun? Oh, yeah. I got another one. Let's do some shit to creep us out. Hey, yo, actually, did you know that if the sun exploded right now, we wouldn't know for another eight minutes? Yeah. So the sun actually could have exploded right now. Yeah. And we wouldn't know. It could explode right now. We could listen to Freebird and then we'd die. Yep. Is Freebird eight minutes long? Yeah, like seven and a half, I think. Damn. Yep, bro. Yeah. It could fucking ruin us. The sun exploding doesn't worry me at all. Really? No. No. I, I wouldn't care for it. It's, a, it's never going to be a qu- I think it'd be a, such a quick annihilation that you wouldn't even have time to afford to like register what was happening. I think I know what's up. <laughs> no, you wouldn't. Just at the the moment where it's like, 
like, ah. I'd be like, oh, the sun exploded. <laughs> I totally know what's up. At that moment. I'd be like, oh, yeah, the sun exploded. Damn. I would tell you. I would have time to be like, your name, the sun just exploded, by the way. Damn. That is bro. funny to be like, I got eight minutes to tell everybody my deepest, darkest secrets. Uh-huh. You know what I mean? You're like, fuck it, I cheated on you. I never loved you. Da, da, da. And then like the sun great. just doesn't explode. Yeah. <laughs> you just spent your last eight <laughs> minutes getting beat up. <laughs> You're like, any minute now, total annihilation. <laughs> <laughs> sweet, sweet release. <laughs> Because I had to get that off my chest before we all perish. <laughs> yeah, Sun Exploded would stink. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I, we'd probably be immediately, like, vaporized. Not me. Bruh. I'm different. You would be, like... If I flexed at the nothing. right time? <laughs> if I knew the Sun Exploded? <laughs> oh, hell yeah. I'd just fucking tank that shit. Yeah, I have an aura like no other. Uh -huh. I, I'd repel that. You have to roll. I would duck. You gotta roll. You'd be stop dropping and rolling. That's what I told yeah. you. Yeah, you Nine would be getting a bucket of water. I would be getting water. <laughs> I'm running with, I'm coming back with buckets. <laughs> How many buckets of water does it take to make the sun not explode? 137. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And I was just shooting his cap gun at the yeah, sun. Yep. <laughs> Get Please down. Stop that shit. Don't even think about it, Buster. <laughs> Don't you explode. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. All right, want to do our, who is it? Me? Me then, Jay? Yeah. All right. Um, all right, I just remember this one. Ayo, actually, so whenever they're doing, oh, actually, I need to learn the name. Can you scroll down a little bit? It's the third fact. So skip that one. Okay. Mc the McDonald triad. All right, Ayo, actually, so whenever they're doing um, profiles of serial killers, mm -hmm. they found the McDonald triad, which is the three common symptoms of every serial killer mm -hmm. of all their childhood. Mm -hmm. And they all had... Um, experiences of arson. They all did arson. Okay. They were all abused animals at some point, and they all wet Damn. the bed. Oh shit! And you have to have all three. Yeah, they all most like ninety percent of them have like all three. I got two out of three. Me too. Which ones do you do? I got bed wetting and abuse to animals. I'm lying. <laughs> <laughs> I wet the bed though for sure. I think they should get rid of that one. That was yeah, that one should be in. all kids wet the that bed. That was just getting yeah. everybody to admit it. And I had some slight abuse to animals. <laughs> And I might have played with fire, but let's just not count one of those. Every kid plays with fire, though. Every kid plays with fire. And every kid just, you know, knocks around their kitten a couple times. You're going to fuck up an animal here or there. I used to throw cats in the, in the backyard with my Uncle Pitbull and watch him fuck out. <laughs> he had fucked them cats up. Or we had throw, like, uh, we had throw rabbits back there, but he could, he could barely catch them. <laughs> but the cats. He could get the cats. Pitbull, you said? Yeah. Mr. Worldwide. He a fuck. <laughs> That's a shame. Uh huh. Wet to bed. Fire. I mean, fire is so much cooler than the other ones. Like fire cool. is the shit. Every we kid plays with fire a little bit. I didn't like burn anything down though. I did the uh, like you. You know, you'd like light a leaf with a magnifying glass or an mm -hmm. ant. Like oh yeah, that. I did that before. I guess an ant is two of these. Because an ant I, is yeah, that's animal abuse. And I piss on it, put it ants up. Yeah, <laughs> I used to fuck ants up bad. Oh, pissing on an ant hill. My, yeah, I used to do that all the time. That's, that's number my one favorite place shit. To piss. Yeah, that's my favorite shit. And try and try to piss like right in the hole, and then watching them like try to scurry out, and then, and then you just see ants like floating out on your piss. You're like, damn, <laughs> you motherfucker drowning on my piss, bro. Yo, that's gay. You like hell yeah. You like you like you like this. This a damn piss tsunami to them. This is fucking <laughs> devastating to their whole colony. I'm distraught. That's how I, I really be thinking like that. Like, yo, I'm fucking. Yeah. Like, they're going to be talking about this for generations. <laughs> and then like, you come back in three days. You're like, generations and generations yeah, uh, and generations have been warned. Hell yeah. <laughs> they hear the feet step. Yep. They're <laughs> like, the fucking great piss tsunami of two days ago. Of Tuesday. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's crazy. They were like doing construction. They were building an ant Chipotle. Uh -huh. <laughs> he just came through and, and just, just pissed, just wrecked everything. Oh, it's it really burns. <laughs> And I was a kid back then, so I was only drinking juice. Oh, yeah. Ah, it smells like Capri Sun. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you, ants. Yeah, right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, their whole world could just be fucked up by piss or like an anteater. Hell yeah. So yeah. easy. <laughs> it's the two natural there's two, enemies. Yeah, there's two world uh, enders for their whole civilization. Yeah. Though it was a time in my life I couldn't walk past <laughs> anthills without like kicking some dirt into the hole. <laughs> like, I walk past like, mm. Just kick your dirt into the hole. I don't know why it's so fun. It is fun to fuck with ants. Yeah, I, they're just little tiny things. But I feel like they figure out how to get out of there. They do. They, it's yeah, only a little bit do. of dust at the end of the day. Mm -hmm. I, the thing I think that's so cool is like you. there's an anthill, but you don't see any ants, and you kick it, and then suddenly a billion ants. Yeah. <laughs> that's cool. Just come out. Yeah, because they're like, oh, shit, something's going wrong. Damn. <laughs> 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 Yo, what the fuck he that? fucked this up. 
<laughs> I'm fine, bro. Yo, he fucked this up. Nah, with I'm mic. different. I'm not embarrassed at all. Yo, I that shit. Hit. How the fuck that even happen? Nah, we don't have to stay on this moment. Yo, forever. you smacked it until the fucking <laughs> yeah. It's fine, man. Just cut that from Yeah. <laughs> We can delete that. Let's start the episode back over again. <laughs> this, is ex- this is exactly what James wanted. Yo, that's he wanted, crazy. He wanted to watch this my downfall. Exact, yeah, yo, this makes perfect sense. No, nah, we'll cut it. <laughs> You're doing great. Yeah, I, think I love the show. Do you? I'm a big <laughs> fan. Yeah, we usually stop in and check. It's a great show. If you were commenting on YouTube, what would you say? So, yo, that McDonald triad fact was cool. Thank you. Good yep. fact, Ben. I'd give that a heart and a thumbs up, and I'd say thank you. I would like, comment, subscribe. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Guys, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> and don't be fucking killing animals. You ever heard an and animal? Don't be burning shit. As a young boy? And don't be fucking... I mean, I definitely fuck with anthills. I remember there was a kid on my block who had a, uh, like, a ferret. Remember okay, a ferret? yeah, like I remember long... people had ferrets. My... <laughs> this was... He was, like, a weird kid that lived down the street. Mm-hmm. He was like, come over, you're going to want to see this. And he would just take his ferret and just throw it at the wall really Damn. hard. <laughs> The the ferret, it would like literally like in cartoons it would stick to the wall and then slide down slowly <laughs> yo he, he was, was fucking that ferret up I was like why are you doing that he was like he likes it he likes it he's like that's what this is how he plays bro so, when we lived on the farm there was, there was this neighbor we had Gary Whitling he was just like probably grows up to be a serial killer I don't know what he's doing at this point but I remember he drove up on his ATV and had a possum that he caught in a trap mm. and then like just brought the possum like whipped it around by the tail like oh, ground to shit. ground to ground and then like got a two by four like beat the shit out of it <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh my god and he was like Damn. showing us like he like came and showed me and my brother like me and my brother were just like waiting there and then like just watched like this old display of like the worst thing you could do to a possum just a brutal <laughs> he, like, massacre it, like around like fucking Bowser threw it like the weed Damn. and then it was basically like isn't that cool and we're like what the fuck what the <laughs> fuck is wrong with he's you? all bloody and out of breath yeah and crying like <sighs> it'll show you dad he's fucking <laughs> it didn't fuck me up as much as we went fishing one time and he would catch salamanders and like flick them into the water. Nice. But, That's like, funny. That's just to fun. like break their spine and I don't know, man. A salamander drowning is that is a pretty up. sad way for a salamander swim? to. Yeah, they swim. They're wet. Yeah, but bro, now his back's broken. He's just like sinking underwater. <laughs> <laughs> I broke that my is, back. <laughs> Spinal. <is> Spinal. <laughs> Spinal. <laughs> Salamander. That is fucked up, bro. <laughs> My <laughs> back is broke. Spinal. <laughs> <laughs> you hit a water fucking. I'm the toughest salamander. <laughs> <laughs> salamander. Damn. <laughs> yeah, that's crazy though. I, it's, animal abuse is a weird thing to see. Yeah, it is. But I remember yeah. that kid would also tell us that his dad had kidney stones every year, and um, he'd have to hold his um, penis while they pass. And I, I told someone that one day, and he was right. like, that kid was molested. I said, oh, yeah, you're 100%. right. 100%. <laughs> but I believed him. I was like, that's such a weird thing Yo, for your dad, dad to make dad made him do. hold his dick. Yeah. I'm, I've never had a kidney stone. That might be part of it. Yo, what the hell? So I get in here and let me hold this. Yeah, come hold my meat. <laughs> Naeem, you're a doctor. <laughs> that's crazy. What do you do when you have a kidney stone? Uh, You got to go find the closest little boy you can find. Not even your <laughs> own son. And you had to tell them to hold your meat. Grab it, grab it, grab it. it this, the kidney stones only come out if they're held by the hands of a virgin boy. Yep. So you got to hold, you got to find a virgin boy to hold your meat. Yeah. And is this Naeem Ali speaking? I don't know. I don't know who this guy is. He has a mask on. Oh, yeah, I forgot. Naeem Ali doesn't do shit like this. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> what happened? You, you made yourself blink with one of those. With one of these? I saw you scared yourself. You're like, maybe this one's real. Oh, this one has scared me. Look, bro, bro, I'm staring, I'm staring out in the eyes of real guns and not blink. Might have cried, but then blink. <laughs> See what I'm saying, bro? Beautiful. Shoot your guns in the air. <laughs> All right, what's our next fact? Let's get to it. Is it James? Who's oh, my next. Yeah. All right, let me get a fact up. Um. Okay. Okay. Mm-hmm. This this one's uh. Okay, so in ancient Rome... Whoa, 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 whoa. You gotta say A.O. My bad, my bad. Get it right. A.O. actually. Mm -hmm. Yo, in ancient Rome, the Vestal Virgins were priestesses of Vesta. They were virgin goddesses of Rome's sacred hearth and its flame. So there were virgins that just, like, represented this goddess. Okay. Uh, When the Vestals lost their chastity, so when they had sex, Mm -hmm. like when they broke their oath, uh, they were sentenced to living burial, where they were left underground with just bread, milk, and water, and they had to wait to suffocate to death. What, yo? Just because they fucked somebody? Wait, They're, so these are real people that it, represent the goddess? Yeah. This is in Rome? Yeah, this is in ancient Rome. They would be, they got like a like a nice position. Yeah. Where they just, their job was to be holy and they to had not to fuck. Be virgins. But women be, you know how they are. Women be fucking. Also, their sexual partners, if known, were publicly beaten to death. Damn, this is dangerous. <laughs> but that that would make me want to fuck one of these ladies more. 
You, is that a turn on? Yeah, if, if I know that I can get beat to death if I fuck her, and she's a virgin, and she's not supposed to fuck, or she's going to get buried alive, that's so much at stake. I got to fuck this lady. Yeah. You, like, you like the forbidden fruit. I do. Naeem likes the no strings attached. You know, that's also true. It's nice when they just get buried alive. Yeah, yo, <laughs> but like, bitch, if you if you keep fucking, I'm gonna tell them that we fucked, and then you're dead. Wait, so they get buried alive, but they get food when they're they leave them in a thing with like a little bread, and they just have to wait to suffocate. But and who gets the who deti- determines that these guys are like the vestals of? I think they sign up for it. Yeah, they're like I want to be the. Oh, so it's like a nun kinda. It's basically a nun. So they probably was made was mostly lesbians. So it's like a no. <laughs> it's probably like a thing you agree to when you're not fucking horny and then you grow up oh yeah like as a child yeah because you're like i could do that yeah sex is gross i remember when i was like little like fifth grade i was like oh, i can't believe i have to have sex to have a kid like i never want to do that I'll probably damn do that you knew that in fifth grade i didn't know that's how it fucking worked i remember in fourth grade this kid on the bus was like like guy girl and like did that yeah yeah, yeah i wanted to do that quite early <laughs> i thought it was the grossest <laughs> thing in the world I remember hearing about this, and I was like, yeah, I want to. <laughs> yeah, yo. Yeah, for sure. I wanted to see what a pussy looked like for a long time. Mm. I wanted to know, like, what is that thing they got? True. The post not clarity, like when, you, like when you're a virgin, and you have a vow uh-huh. to the Lord, and you bust, it's like, oh, they're going to put me in a tomb now. <laughs> yep. <laughs> that stinks. So not worth it. <laughs> but to suffocate under the earth. <laughs> Damn. Oh, yeah, especially if it was, like, a disappointing sexual experience. That sucks. It's with another virgin Vestal person. You're like, damn. Yeah, did you finish? I'm finished. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I'm done. Damn, bro. That sucks to get killed for fucking. Buried alive, like, I, I know it's a common fear, but that's got to be the worst one. The worst way to die or the worst way to be buried? <laughs> Definitely the worst way to be buried. <laughs> 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 what? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, the way, worst way to be killed, I think. Buried alive sucks. No. It what? takes so long. No, you could be impaled. It sucks so they long. Could, they could put yeah. you ass first on a goddamn sharp pole and just watch you slide down that bitch ever so slowly. That takes like two minutes. Buried alive. Like, you get bored while being uh, buried alive. You could sink in cement. You could. There's a lot of horrible ways. You ran over by a bulldozer. Yeah, bro. That's funny. You got to have your Achilles. <laughs> and then slice. <laughs> you just be trying to get into your Toyota Corolla and then God. Yeah, yo. Mm-hmm. Though you could get struck by lightning. Oh, that would rule. That stinks. If you live, you get superpowers. I think so. You get eaten alive by bugs. Whoa. Yeah, that was a way, that was like a torture thing they did. We did that fact last Halloween. We did. <laughs> if y'all remember. Yep. Yeah. All right. Let me do one. All right. I got some fan. I got a fan when I got. This. Was that a good fact or was I that, liked your fact? That was a great fact. It kind of made me sad a little bit. A lot of people bring these um oh, no, my child ideas. sacrifice facts and they could just bum me out. Well, you were like scary Halloween. No, nah, sometimes some things are too scary, man. All right, I was, look. I was like, nah, scarecrows are scary. <laughs> Actually, <A> scarecrow. <laughs> <laughs> that's what. Bit, bit that's the, a good. That's a good Halloween fact. All right. Hey, yo, actually, do you know that male fruit flies turn to alcohol when they are sexually rejected? Offer a male fruit fly a choice between food soaked to alcohol and his non alcoholic equivalent. And his decision will depend on whether he's made it recently or been rejected by a female. Flies that have been given the cold shoulder are more likely to go to the booze, researchers have found. It's the first discovery of fruit flies of a social interaction that influences future behavior. So they they show that there's a link between <laughs> the there's a link that connects the neural world reward circuit with alcohol consumption. And sex and fucking fruit flies, bro. So Just they, like stop. us idiots, bro. They get rejected and they turn to booze. They're like, oh, I gotta go get drunk. This bitch hates me. <laughs> That's a, like a fruit fly at the bar. Just like, Amanda. <laughs> <laughs> yep. God damn it. I'm sorry. Damn it. They just like us for real. They just really like, just us. like us. These motherfuckers, that mean these motherfuckers be looking at the reflection and like, a drop of water and be like, I'm ugly as shit. And it's like, all oh, y'all ugly. The whole fruit fly thing is ugly. Those just think is a cute one of y'all. But, they, but some of them probably think they ugly, bro. You don't think there's one of them that's him? I mean, no, there is one. But compared to us, he stinks. Yeah. He's the worst thing ever. But you, all you have to do is wait like 24 hours for your enemies to just... That's true. If you're from the die. Perish. I guess that is only 24 hours without getting pussy and they already... Yeah, yo, one time I, locked, one time I had locked the fly in the bathroom. He was in there for two days and the... 
bro, the <laughs> how how much he slowed down in flight from day one to day two. Yeah. I'm like, oh, he's a 90 year old man, day two. You see what I'm saying? Oh, day wow. one, he was zipping all around. Day two, he was fucking flying slow and shit, then like landing on the wall. <laughs> They're like crawling slow as fuck. Like, oh, he's fucked. <laughs> oh, he's elderly now. <laughs> from day one to day two. That's crazy. I'm like, I can kill him whenever I want. And I just let him sit there and suffer. And to this day, I'll take a picture of when I get home. To this day, his, his ass is just dead on the wall. He's been there for months. I never wiped him off, nothing. <laughs> if I touch him, he probably turn going to turn to dust. He's been there for months. I never smashed him with nothing. I'm, like, I'm just going to let him die of old age, bro. <laughs> he died of old age in my bathroom. He's still there. <laughs> right over top of the mirror. So he's been there for months. For months. Which is, I left his fly there. Which is eons and fly years. Yeah, yep. That's yep. crazy. Uh -huh. He's being worshipped by other flies. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's a fly of legend. Hell yeah. Like his body's fully intact. Hell yeah. Oh, to be the holy fly on the wall. You have a mummified fly? <laughs> yes, I do. I'm going to take a picture of it. <laughs> and we're going to put it in the fucking show. So y'all can see his fly that's been there since at least July. It's fucking it's about to be November. <laughs> What's your last 24 hours been like? <laughs> oh, nuts, bro. I've been doing What's all led to this energy? Because oh, I don't even know how to describe it, but I am fucking just <laughs> shot oh, I've been all over the place, bro. Yeah? Yeah, man. Basketball games. My little cousin had a party. Then just everything, bro. Hmm. Helium last night was fun. Yeah. This is regular. You've you've made this energy organically. Yeah. Yeah. I think it I think it did come from within, bro. You're really in the Halloween spirit. I think Hall I am. Yeah, you you're a you're a werewolf. Halloween brings out the best in me. <laughs> if I may say so myself. You ever howl? Ow! All the time, bro. I be barking at my dog. You ever yeah. bark at your dog? Yeah. <laughs> they, they, look, they be confused as fuck. Like, what the fuck? <laughs> they be so confused. Like, huh? Yo, who taught you that? Yeah. Hell yeah. <laughs> Only they, we can say that. They get so confused when you bark <laughs> at them. I love it. All right. What's our next one? We got. It was your turn. You want me to do another one? You could do another one. Or we could do. I got one. Go up some. I'm being selfish with the facts. And then we also got our fucking. Hey, yo, actually, Jews don't eat pork. So true. Idiot Rob Cruz. Bobby Quinn sent me that. And also, a lot of people said it in our comments. You dummy. Yeah, there was a lot of those. You fucking dummy. You dumb Jew. Not that all Jews are dumb, just, but just Rob Cruz. Specifically had a bit of a. Oh, shit. My secret identity coming. That's <laughs> <laughs> right when you said that. <laughs> <laughs> no, that wasn't, that wasn't me. That was green screen. The flies are going to know what you did to their people. <laughs> They're coming That's for crazy. you. No, yeah. Your house is infested. <laughs> the ghost was like, now. Yeah, pull this my is my when he says it. Right. That's horrible. Damn it. <laughs> I feel like everyone knows this. Yeah, but Jews don't eat pork. <laughs> yeah, true. Yeah, it's it's, uh, this see, is I'm only Rob that doesn't know this. Yeah, yeah, right. But pork causes cancer. Ayo, hey, actually, pork causes cancer. Ayo, hey, actually. Don't yeah. shake your head at me. Not true. It's fucking pork filled taco over pork. here. Yep. I have pork filled taco over here. I'm I'm but, um, I am filled with pork. I eat, I eat pork every day and I'm strong as an ox. Really? I'm a gold knock. Don't eat pork. Yo. Now you're not, not supposed to eat pork. For you. It does cause cancer. My friend that's cancer said the doctor told her avoid all pork, avoid all canned food, Damn. avoid all fast food. Pork. They're all known to cause cancer. cancer. Little fun fact. Oh, you fucking him. pork eaters? That's why you should be Muslim. Alhamdulillah. You know what I'm saying? Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Alhamdulillah. Yep. What'd you say? Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Alhamdulillah. Rabbi Laila meet some shit. Yep. Yep. Rahmanirrahim. Maliki Yawmadin. Yakana Abuduwa. Yakana Stain. Yep. And then I saw the Mutakin. Saw the Ladina. Anna. Amta Allahim. You got to speak some Arabic. Yeah, learn some Arabic, bro. Do your best. Yeah, he didn't even know he spoke Arabic on this podcast. James is about to get down, bro. Yeah, get your weight up, dog. Uh, Assalamu alaikum, my man. Oh, oh a bumba collide. <laughs> oh, <laughs> what? Give me um, the Irie. <laughs> the Irie. That's the Irie. different things. Oh. See one of these? Oh, nice. Jamaican people came up with that. They did. I think they did. Um. All right, I got a, I got a spooky fact, and then maybe one Ooh, more from James. Yeah. Do you have a good one? Uh, I have a decent one. All right. All right. There's a cave, massacre cave. Uh, sorry. AO actually. Thank you. Thank there you. we go. I got it. AO actually. Yo, massacre cave is a cave in Scotland. Uh, when a clan attacked the island, all 395 of the islanders hid inside the cave. Damn. When the clan found them, they just chilled outside the cave mouth, lit a fire, and allowed the smoke to suffocate Damn. All, all the natives of the island. That's crazy. And if you go to that cave, there's just hella skeletons in there. Yeah, people just fucking suffocated. That's what it's like to be in a beehive. 
When the beeper, beeper, yep, beeper comes true. when they smoke you out. You know? True. Damn, bro. And this is in Ireland? Scotland. Scotland? Yeah, Mike Myers. What would you rather, that or being buried alive? Smoke me. Yeah, smoke me. Hot box my shit. Shit. Yo, let me hit I that. Hot box my shit. Yo, let me hit let me let me rip that Reggie, Chief. Come on now. Yeah, yo, you can smoke me out. You ain't gotta do all that. Hmm. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? You ain't gotta bury me alive. Smoke I guess me that's a out, clever bro. way to kill people. I think you like inhale smoke for a little bit and then you just go out. Yeah, then you pass out, then you fall asleep. It takes like a minute. Yeah. It is a minute of Any you, type like, of death where you fall asleep first is fine. Yeah, that's not that bad. It is like the worst weed cough, like when you like inhale water and you're like, oh, uh, yeah, it's like that's that bad. For like 30, 45 seconds and then you're. Then you pass the fuck out. Then you're in heaven. That's how you hunt bears. With smoke. You put the smoke in the cave and you just stay outside the And then you shoot cave when they run gun. out. Mm-hmm. Bow, you fucking <laughs> big ass bear. <laughs> How you let my little fucking revolver kill you? Because you're just a dumb animal. That's how. Goddamn. <laughs> Do people hunt bears? Is that real? Yeah. People hunt bears. Ayo, actually. Hell yeah, people hunt bears. <laughs> what do you mean do people hunt bears? Yeah, how would would you not hunt bears? People I guess, hunt anything. I guess bears hunt us. The rugs. Yeah. Yep, the rugs. You think they just found a dead bear and turned it into a rug? The meat? I guess I thought so. No. I mean, it's they sleep half the year. I saw a dead wolf on, uh, I fucking walk up on and... 295. <laughs> okay. Stop it. I did, bro. <laughs> I believe you, Naeem. Hey, listen, I, listen. I'm not. I wouldn't keep saying this if it was a lie. I did. Dead wolf, super big, sharp teeth, <laughs> almost look like a werewolf. Honestly, it almost looked even crazier than a normal wolf. If, if that's what normal wolves look like, that's scary as fuck, bro. It was dead though. It was passed. It out. was dead to the motherfucker, dog. Mouth open, tongue hanging out. <laughs> and you went back. X is on his I eyes. I saw it the next day. <laughs> Road runner getting away. Yeah. Big <laughs> <laughs> like TNT plunger. <laughs> TNT. <laughs> 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 Painted on tunnel. Right in front of them. <laughs> <laughs> nah, bro. Clear as day, man. Wolf's on Clear as day. Side of the highway. How do you think it met its end? It must have got hit by a car. Like a wolf? Hey, bro, full size ultra wolf, bro. <laughs> this was a huge. Why is this such a big. No one believed you for some reason? Yeah, I don't know why, because people are just idiots. Man, you know what is crazy? Is Jeff it, saw it. Big Jeff saw it. It's the. um. It's like, this is really the story of the boy who cried wolf. Like, we're just naturally inclined to not believe people. Yeah. Even though it's like, you haven't lied to us two times about All wolves. my crazy stories are true. Anytime I say some wild shit, that it'd be real life shit, though. Believe all shepherds. For believe real. Believe all shepherds. Shepherds and women. Yeah. Or we're going to fucking kill ourselves. Stop it. <laughs> Stop. Put the gun down. You know Let me get the gun. <laughs> this is... You don't want to kill yourself with this. This gun was going to make you go crazy, man. Well. They think somebody ever shot themselves in the head twice. Yeah, for sure. I think so. You think so? Because it doesn't kill you always. I think it has to hit the, like, a certain part of your brain. So you think somebody got two off? Oh, can we look this up? Like, there's a, it's weird you can shoot yourself in the brain. Can you look you up? Go, you don't die. Yeah. You just forget how to play Uno. Like, yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> can you, <laughs> right. Can you look up, um. You can't tie your shoes anymore. <laughs> it's just dumb shit like that. Yeah, like, what the fuck? And then the other part is your soul. I hate when they do this. Every time you want to look Don't up tell me about, about 988. Don't worry about me, yo. No, nah, but can you look up like the most time someone shot themselves Multiple in the Multiple gunshot head? suicides. It's right here. Okay. Chill. Causes. Yeah, Nine's like done it like 30 times this episode. Multiple yeah. gunshots on themselves before becoming incapacitated. It excludes suicides. Where, well, I don't need to do that. Okay, the, the decrease in function in other central. Okay, we know how we know what to do. Examples. So, so there were five or two shots to the head. Oh, hell yeah. 3.6% of suicides include two shots. What? In 2012, a guy shot himself in the head eight times. <laughs> Yo, Yo, what? He died 22 hours later? <laughs> Damn, that's a lot. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. <laughs> Damn, that's a lot. How many that's bullets so many did your shots? gun have? A hundred? And how strong is his arm? Because I would think like the kickback and like now that's less brain function. Where you'd be like, bro, I think this, I think that was so much you just over the head is like immediate retard. It's like, pow. <laughs> like, remember that? You saw that video when that, when that girl shot her boyfriend by accident? They was in the car and she was playing with the gun and he was talking and shit. And he was like, yo, stop playing with the gun. And she was like, chill out. And she was doing all this fucking getaway ass shit. And then she said, yeah, pow. And he said, uh. uh. <laughs> That's exactly what he did. He said, uh. This motherfucker talking about. We're all right. This motherfucker, he talking about, uh. Took him 22 hours. That's crazy. 22 hours after eight shots to the chromium. 
damn, bro. Yeah. It's like almost three hours per gunshot. <laughs> yeah. It's crazy. Damn, he's a fucking legend. Eight times. He probably reloaded. He must have hated gun. himself. What do you think he did for the other 22 hours? Some laundry. Fucking picnic. <laughs> uh, <laughs> say goodbye to his loved one. That's crazy. What? Interesting. I'm going to say that's the number one. That's the most. Damn, this guy shot himself twice with a shotgun. With a 12 gauge. I thought they said that's an impossible. Boom. You have to like hold it like way weird. Yeah, you, that's what I thought. Boo. You have to use like a. It. Oh yeah, so that means use this, your guy, toe. this guy just got murdered and they never found him. Then lizard tail. Use your toe. Use your uh, toe. With the boom. That's gotta feel cool. <laughs> oh look, the first one went. The first one entered through the chest and missed his rib cage and came out where his nipples was at. So that means the first one just like grazed his skin off, right? Mm. And the second one, bow. Now you back to the essence, bro. Now you about to be reborn. If you can do it, I, I want to see what this guy looked like. I feel like I would take the first one and be like, "Owie, never mind." <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah, never mind. I don't want to do this now. That shit was crazy. Now I go get my chest fixed. I go to, <laughs> to Doctor Naive. Can we can we look up what the guy <laughs> looks you like? Shoot me more. Yeah, shoot a couple boys. I'm like, you idiot. You trying to kill yourself? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> How do you like that? Oh, you still allowed? Now he fights fire with fire. <laughs> Yo, squeezing a gun like it like it's so difficult to pull a trigger is the funniest shit ever. Just like uh, <laughs> <laughs> you use two hands. Yeah, like you fucking idiot. Watch this. <laughs> 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 uh, you fucking dumb. You think I will kill myself? Watch me. <laughs> 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 Hell yeah. Was that him? The guy you found? Damn, Gary Steven Webb. Oh no, that's the boy. He that's a lie. He he got murdered. That's the boy that uh, um oh. he exposed the government for um selling crack or some shit. Oh. Uh, but they said he committed suicide, but he ain't commit suicide. And this was another guy. Look, <laughs> all, why is all government people with multiple gunshot suicides? <laughs> it's all people that was deep into the government. I mean, if you just work at a gas That's station so and you do it, they just, like, kick you into a ditch. Right. They don't even check. These guys fucking were exposing secrets to governments, and somehow they shot themselves multiple times every time they committed suicide. That is crazy. Little suspect. Mm -hmm. Little suspect to yeah. me. Free my dog, Gary Webb. Hey, free him from the gates of hell, bro. <laughs> Ooh, if you could bring one dead person back to life. One? And it can't be Jesus. I want to say, I would have never said Jesus. That was... He's alive and well. Yeah, hey, he's fine. Uh, he, did, he did rise once already. Yeah. You got to bring back, you can bring back one person. Just because everybody's on his dick so much, bro, you got to bring back Hitler. <laughs> Just so that everybody can finally talk to him and be like, what what, what, what was this, yo? Hitler on IG Live would be funny. <laughs> yeah, like, what it was you... like, bro, you are ass. Yeah, yo. Like, people just get to get all their anger out and just yell at him. Everyone gets to beat up Hitler a little bit. Yeah, yeah you can just sock him. Yeah, and he had, and they have to let you do it, and then they make sure that he doesn't commit suicide again. Yeah, pretty good. If mm -hmm. everyone got to punch him a little bit, that'd be cool. Yeah, a you get the sock hit a little pinch one time. I'd kick him in the knee. Yeah, mm -hmm. Say, Jews are my friends. <clears throat> right, you yeah. fucking idiot. Why'd you think you could do that? Not cool. All ben, right. how about you? Who would I bring back? Um, Mother Teresa. No, she hated poor people. Did she? Yeah, she said that people, some people were born to like be losers. I was just trying to think of a good person. I don't know. Let me think. We'll kick her too. Yeah. Ooh, no. You want to bring back Michael Jackson? <sighs> I probably would, but he might just die again. Yeah. He was on drugs. True. Ooh, bring back, um, nah, bro. You got to bring back fucking. Yeah. My grandpa. Dude, if you bring back, <laughs> if you bring back Kobe, he might drop a 90 point game. That's true. Ooh, you might got to bring back Kobe, bro. Afterlife powers. Mm hmm. Damn, you might got to bring back Kobe, bro. He still had a lot more life to live mm -hmm. if you brought it back now. Damn, might have to be Kobe. Or you bring back some kids that died. Who was a kid that died? <laughs> Ain't no famous kids that's dead. Um, well, let's go make some. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Do you like this name? <laughs> I I, uh, yeah, you know what? It's, it's, it's what I, it's, I'm into it. Yeah. Let's fucking do it's it. It's interesting. Bro. You know what I mean? <laughs> we out here. 
<laughs> it is crazy because last time I saw Naeem, he was just barely, barely around. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. What do you mean I was barely around? Last night you were so sleepy. Oh yeah, I was sleepy late. Like, I was super sleepy late. Like, now you just want to kill everybody. Yeah, yo. I'm yeah. ready for some action. Yeah. <laughs> Ready to fucking pull my pistol out. <laughs> All right. James, you want to close this off? Can you do the end credits for us? Oh, yeah. Because James told me on the way here he's the number one fan of the show. Yep. Number one fan, James Moss. He believed this from the beginning. Take us out. <laughs> I'm a big... <laughs> do I do the... What do I do? The song or what? Oh, yeah. Do the song. <laughs> this has been A.O. Actually. <laughs> Naeem Ali. Shooting lots of kids. Ben Stubb needs to be replaced. <laughs> 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 Uh no, this is how do you normally end it? Wow. Interesting. Uh, this is I, crazy. I tried to freestyle it. Expose, bro. Have a seat. Uh, <laughs> you just got Chris Hansen live <laughs> to catch a hater. Uh, this has been AO Actually. Please send us a fact. We're running out of facts, ladies and gentlemen. The show might not be able to go on much longer. You have so many places you can send facts. So you can send it to George at George underscore Blaha. Naive at Naive underscore <laughs> underscore. <laughs> Ali. Me at Wastabi. Send it to James, man. Actually, no. Nah, James doesn't need any more facts. You could email it. AO Actually at Gmail. You could comment it. You could Instagram us at AO Actually on Instagram. That's right. Those are all the means of communication. Shout out to the fucking be better. Be better with your facts. That's about it. Yes. Yeah, I like thank the, you for the ones you gave us. I like the fan facts. It was a really good one. They did good. Yeah. Great fan facts. Honestly, wait. So you sent a bunch. I, anyways, we'll talk about it later. Mm-hmm. Next episode will be dedicated to him. Goddamn right, bro. It, it'll be good. Keep sending them in. We need them. Sadly, tonight was a Halloween episode, so we had to keep it a little bit spooky. Ooh. Go, uh... Go hide under a, a, a Nissan and, and cut some people's heels tonight. Yeah, go go slash a couple motherfuckers. Happy Halloween from your friends at AOL. Go die and then become a ghost. <laughs> <laughs> and scene. <laughs>